learning about uh, five different types of great wines, how to pair them with food, how to taste them, what to look for, how to know a good wine from a bad wine, how to taste the difference between them, as well as just sort of keep on top of what's happening in the world of wine today. This uh, Fraxinet, which is from Hennepin's, which is so Well, I've done wine tasting once before, but I don't know very much about white wine, so that's what brought me here, because I know a lot more about red wine. Well, number one, how you hold the glass. That's kind of important, because if we, if we serve it at the right temperature and we hold it like this, we're warming it up. Um, so always try to hold it by the stem. Um, well, it's really great. Again, there's a lot of networking opportunities, and if, if you don't know how to, to interact in those situations, if, you, if you're not sure of the, the correct etiquette, if you're not used to it, um, it can be really difficult to balance a wine and a, and a snack and, and know what, um, what, what appropriate behavior is. Right now I'm eating Cajun chicken with peach salsa paired with uh, white wine um, called Sibling Rivalry. Uh, most times we, we serve our white wines way too cold because they've been sitting in the fridge. You ideally want to serve them at about 12 degrees Celsius. So take them out of the fridge, let them stand for 30 minutes. Try a tasting with three or four different um, wines made with the same grape. So like one week, do some, some Cabernet Sauvignon. Find the one you like, right? If it's Australian, if it's Canadian, explore that area a little bit more. So that way it's a little bit of an event as well. You can have some fun and then you can start to, uh, you know, explore a little bit more. I definitely appreciate the tips that he gave and think that I would try some of them.